All right, welcome to the Ravid Show. I'm super excited to be here at Ultra Athletics Yolo Vision 2024. But look who I have with me, Ray and Amir. I just saw your presentation, loved it absolutely. Bang on in terms of you know uh, the community loving. I saw such great questions coming from the community as well. Thank you. But uh, super excited to host you both, and uh, would love to know a little about what you do. Uh, and why you're at Ultralytics Yolo Vision 2024, Amit? I, I would say ladies first. All right, Ray. <laughs> okay, so this is Wei. So actually, I'm responsible for the business development in Sony, specifically for products we just introduced called iTrust. So that's an edge AI sensing platform we're nice. building with. So basically, we would like to enable like the community users, enterprises, and also build up an ecosystem with partners. That's why we work with like companies like Uchalytics. Right. We love to hear more voices from the community as well. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Um, I'm Amir, a product manager at Sony Semiconductors, part of the part of the iTrios team. Um, most of my career was. I devoted it for enabling AI and specifically deep learning on the edge. And I think uh, the YOLO, the YOLO vision is, is the place and, and they have the community for promoting such content and, and you know, preach for uh, going from cloud to edge and enable AI on the edge. Love it. Uh, Amir, I'm kind of also curious in a way, I'm kind of curious to learn a little about and I've seen your talk, but for just for our audience, would you like to give a little bit of key takeaways from the talk, what questions you got from the community, anything that you can share? Okay, so for all of uh, the deep learning practitioners that are thinking about going to the edge um, and are struggling with that, my key takeaway was that when selecting an Edge AI processor, uh, you want it to be uh, as flexible and robust uh, in order to be able to tackle uh, and address uh, different bottlenecks. In our presentation, it was specifically for post-processing running on the host, where we were able to implement the post-process and run it on yep. the chip, the NMS. So that was my key takeaway. Thanks. Uh, Ray, would you like to add anything? Yeah, I think so many people are interested in our sensor and devices. They're asking exactly. where to buy and how can they <laughs> buy it. So, yeah, please stay tuned. We have so many like new good products to be ready to you. And just check check our introduction and like our QR code, everything. Yeah, you will find some good ones for you. It's coming soon. So yeah. just stay tuned on that. Um, also curious to learn a little about you know, YOLO, how have you guys been using it? I know you all have a good partnership with Ultralytics. So would you like to share a little about that? And YOLO 11 was just announced. Right, YOLO 11 just announced. It, this is exciting news. Um, you know, we, as part of our job, we hear and meet a lot of deep learning practitioners that are trying to address so many uh, use cases. Right. It's endless. And every time uh, we speak with a new client or customers or anything, we hear about the YOLO, the, the community requests it, uh, they demand it, and they are using it. YOLO, you can see right here, it's an amazing community of people that are contributing to, not specifically to Ultralytics, they're contributing to the, to the community and for the AI uh, world. Um, so this is our experience that the YOLO is it's a family of models, but it's a family. That's awesome. And uh, going ahead, like I'm, I just want to also talk a little about the future. I've seen so much growth happening in computer version in the last few years. And it's exponential growth, and we're still seeing that upward trend. How do you see the future of computer vision? Curious about it. Wait. Yeah, it's such a general, like, trending questions. I think people have different, like, maybe answers to these questions. Yep. So our focusing and our, like, enthusiasm is in Edge AI. Yep. Because we believe we have so many devices on the Earth, right? Everyone has a mobile phone. We should take use of our Edge device, Edge cameras, wherever. Then we can minimize to using crowd resources like data centers. Eventually, we're gonna build, contribute to the environment, to the Earth. So that's what we see, the technology right. towards the future. Right, yeah. I like it. 
Um, I want to strengthen what she said. Yes. She talked about it in her talk. Sony is all about contributing to, to the environment, uh, but we definitely, regardless, we definitely see that the future is going mm. from cloud down to the edge. Uh, so many use cases where edge is the first choice, yes. and unfortunately, in recent years, it wasn't so much available. And our role in that story is to enable people getting from the cloud to the edge and you all are bringing the community together and just expanding exactly. it and just doing the best work in the space. So thanks for that, way and uh, Amir. And uh, one last question for both of you. If folks want to reach out to you, learn more about what you're doing, different projects that you all are working, I'm pretty sure, uh, and I'm assuming, you all might be on some social, maybe LinkedIn, X. Where can they do that? Amir? Right, so Amir Servi uh, on LinkedIn. Awesome. Um, you can look for me. Yep. Yeah, same, same. Just find me on LinkedIn and message me anything you may be interested. Yeah. Awesome. This is great. Uh, first of all, thanks for visiting the Robert Show. It is such a pleasure to host you both and we'll keep the conversation going once this video is out. I'm pretty sure the audience would love it. And uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us today.